What is going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to Strategic Command World War I as the Central Powers. It is September 23rd of the year 1916, and so far everything is looking very good, uh, except, well, maybe some of the Ottoman uh, borders. They don't look amazing, but even they are okay. Uh, anyways, we are going to uh, obviously start off with the Western Front again. We have new units. Oh, this is a recon bomber for the Austrians. Actually, we can deploy this one. Um, let me deploy that in the east. Yeah. Uh, let's be careful. Have it over here in Sambor, maybe. That's very safe. Okay. But yeah, let's start over on this front where Paris is still in our hand. We have taken Bell 4 in the last episode. And now France is at 7% national morale. At 0%, they will surrender. And that, uh, well, that's going to be very good for us. And so... Well, we want to probably just destroy French units. Now, what I can do is I can actually wait. Uh, hold on, I can't show you. I can't show it to you because this is obviously showing our supply. But this core right here currently has six supply. But um, that won't be the case forever. I mean, we have it surrounded. There's no railway to it. There's no roads. So I think that that core might just die. Um, and obviously it gives us extra bonus uh, national morale, or it gives a penalty to the French if they lose it in low supply. So maybe that's what we want to focus on. I only have three shells, and they have eight entrenchment. Um, so I think this would be more suicidal than useful. So I think I'm actually not going to attack here. Instead, um, <clears throat> I can upgrade you. That's just mobility. Okay, never mind. So instead, I will probably just go ahead and entrench and fortify our new... Uh, positions this is perfect and you over here now I can move you ho over here interestingly you need to reinforce but ideally you also well you reinforce that's fine and then I wonder well you'll just have to entrench there you go you need to entrench as well but that's fine for now you can become an elite core that's fine, because I'm not going to be attacking anytime soon. Oh, well, sometime soon, but not this turn for sure. And then this was one of our destroyed cores that has, now, has just come back. Do I want to attack here? We have three shells. You have six entrenchment. I think I'm going to... I'm actually going to stay. Just reinforce you. Um, we'll wait for another better opportunity to attack. We do have von Falkenhayn as a, another headquarter over here now. Plus... This fighter needs to be improved, and I think that also gives our recon bomber some time to recover. I definitely need to move you forward, though. I think I'm going to switch you guys out. That's... I can do for sure. So this Bavarian Corps gets the new infantry weapons. And then, other than that, we're actually looking pretty good in terms of new weapons. I'm thinking to send you just over here. That looks pretty good. The rest of you, I mean, we have an artillery here, six shells against five entrenchment. That might be worthwhile, I think. So, let's go ahead. Yes, interceptors. Oof. Oh, that actually hurt. Never mind. But yeah, let's uh, shell this. I mean, we have to attack somewhere, right? Plus, they're standing right in front of Paris. Um, that's not a, you know, that's not amazing. Okay, and I'll shoot one more. Because there's nothing else I can do with that shell. Now, the problem is, oh, wow. Um, yeah, I will attack you. Actually, 1-6. Mm, let's do the 1-5. And move back. Have our cab move back. Yeah, that's good. Ouch. Move back even further, please. And then I can move you in or you. You have five points. So yeah, you're actually a lot better. Have you in here? We can attack. Oh my goodness, we could attack the headquarter, but I'm actually going to not do that. Um, it is 
it's not a French one, so there's not really a big bonus. And so I'm, I'm just going to ignore it. I'd rather entrench, I'd rather hold the position that I take. Plus, this potentially, you know, I mean, this gives us the opportunity to actually have a headquarter in Paris eventually. And that is more useful, in my opinion. Now then, you please get the new weapons. Upgrade. And then, actually, I can send you over here. And we can start, you know, maybe harassing this or this city with our railgun. Let's actually do that. Although, hmm. <clears throat> Is that useful? You know what? Yeah. I'll just want to try it out. Then you go in here. And please entrench your position. You can actually stay here. That's fine. The cav will move over. I do need to check the supply though. Five. Yeah, because five, it's already kind of sketchy. Uh, to be honest. You switch out, please. There you go. So you can upgrade to the new weapons. You have to stay here. You can switch next turn. Then we have you that needs to be upgraded. But that's pretty much it. Well, and you. Yeah, and then most of our... Well, and you over here. Yeah, you can't do it right now. Well, there you go. Perfect. And... You can only get the mobility. Yeah, all right. I think I probably... I tried this... I don't know how many times I checked that. But yeah, anyway. Okay. What if I move you closer? Will that actually change anything for the supply? I think it actually has gotten better. Yeah, so that's good. And you cannot be upgraded the airship, though. Uh, let's actually send it in. Why not? Let's try and damage their supply as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Good, so that happened. Then we have our navy, and we kind of need to check out. They have their ships here somewhere, yep. Okay. Okay, let's sink that one ship. And let me see what else I find. Not much. All right, this one we can sink, I'm pretty sure, actually. Nice. Okay, there's another... Oh, wow, a dreadnought. Well, let's um, sink this one first. Good. Seaplane carrier, gone. Oh, there's all their ships. Okay, that's a destroyer. That is a battle cruiser. I I need to sink the revenge. Now, by the way, let's quickly check the reports. 24 ships, 25. Oh, wow. We actually had a lot more before that. But that's also because the French Navy is uh, being problematic here. Uh, I, I feel like at the end of the war, the Russians will have the largest Navy. <laughs> it's actually very possible. Um, <clears throat> okay. So 24 ships against 25, we definitely need to sink one now. We do have two Dreadnoughts that are still very much in a position of uh, dealing significant damage. Six to seven, okay. Well, eight to five. Well, that actually is a lot better than expected. Then let's move you... Mm, they see us on the Shetlands. Um... Let's move you here, and then move the Koenig Dreadnought. Boom. Sink the Revenge. Big deal. Oh my goodness, that damage though. Alright, let's move you up here. Oof. Move you here, I guess. <clears throat> then we still have that battle cruiser that I want to deal with. I do have... Oh, man. Oh, no! No! They have another Dreadnought? Oh, my goodness. 
That is painful. That is actually super painful right now. Oh no. Well, <clears throat> I can do at least one thing. I can put a mine here. And then... Can I still play? I can still place... I could place another mine. Place it right here. The best I can do to hold... Uh, to defend this Dreadnought... I mean, this cruiser is gone. Now the question is... Maybe I can even... Go for another shot? Oof. Five, five. And then, can we finish this Dreadnought, the Marlboro? With our battle cruiser, with our other Dreadnought? Let's try. 4 2. Risky. 2 only. Alright. Whew! Okay, and then we've got our battle cruiser here that I think. Isn't really able to do that much more. I'll send you over here. Well, you know what? It might be able to screen for a dreadnought, so might as well have you here. And then our subs. You know? Maybe our subs can do something. Maybe our cruiser is not dead. Huh? Is that is it possible? It is it is possible that we can uh, protect the Moltke battle cruiser with our array of submarines. That would actually be amazing. I'm not sure if it's if it works, but I think it's worth it if we do manage to do it. Whew, okay. And I wanted to send this seaplane carrier. Um Go into cruise mode. We'll send you over here. And we'll have you... Um, yeah, scout here. Because we don't have a plane. I'm going to use the seaplane carrier here. To scout the area. Okay, so what does the report say now? 22 to 25. So we destroyed two ships. But those are two dreadnoughts. We sank two British dreadnoughts. In fact, let me show, let me show you the, the detailed losses. Five British Dreadnoughts were sunk, three French, and two, and we only lost one. That is, that is actually very good. Okay, well, how's your morale now? Still 7%? 70%. Okay, good. So that's the Germans on this front. Then we have here, please reinforce to full. I, unfortunately, there's nothing I can really, I could do this attack. To, the, uh, to help the Mammal Detachment. I'm not sure if that's really worth it. Uh, this it uh, you know what? I'm actually going to attack you here. Yeah. I feel like this might actually be uh, a good plan. Let's send you back. Do the 2-4. Yeah. Nice. Which means you go here, you go here, you go here, and our cav does the rest. Ow, three damage though? Hmm. Alright, I'll take it. Maybe that wasn't really worth it. That was six that was three. Yeah, it was seven damage to destroy a core. <clears throat> I mean, alright. I guess I'll take it. And we'll entrench. And then here. Okay, that was definitely not worth it. But, okay. <laughs> I mean, actually this might be worth it. 2-3. Ooh. 4-1 even. Okay, that was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Nice. Um, over here, I can't do anything. And then over here, we did, text, we did take Stjellets. 
Uh, what's about... What about... Oh, you have zero morale. Uh, zero supply. One tin. Okay. Good night. Oh, yeah. That one was surrounded. Interesting. Then I have three shells for your entrenchment. Two, three. But we only have... We have two detachments here. Um... So, hold on. You get the new weapons. You reinforce. You... You know what? You can save your things. Re reinforce. Okay. Apologies. I had to stop recording there for a second. But now I'm back. Uh, we decided not to attack this time. We'll save our shells... And then we'll see what we can do here. This is basically all the Germans. Okay, you can we can move von Hindenburg forward. I just moved him back to get my troops shuffled about. And um, yeah, we did everything we could here. And then Austria. Austria. Now here's my plan. With the Germans, I'm moving on towards uh, Breslitovsk and on to Grodno, pretty much. And basically that. If we take Rovno and Breslitov, then all the units, all the Russian units inside will be encircled. Um, they will slowly run out of supplies and then they will be forced to walk through the marshes where they have no supply and they will basically just die. And so what we need to do for that, we need to, yeah, obviously take Rovno. I mean, we could take Lutsk as well, but Rovno would, us, uh, would allow us to take... To, to encircle more. So we kind of want to break through here, which means we want this cavalry corps, basically these three corps gone, and we maybe want to move up a little bit here. So, well, actually, we can let you guys stay here. I guess it doesn't really matter where you wait. Um, I probably need this cav for that. You once, oh my god, one seven, that's insane. I do have three shells, and you have four entrenchments. I think I'm going to focus my shells on you. I can't use the recon bomber this time. Um, so yeah, let's attack here. Even though this actually doesn't matter. Why am I doing this? I want to attack over here. Let's attack this. I should have done this in the first place. I don't know why I attacked that. I was actually kind of a waste. I just said I want to go this way. All right, whatever. Uh, zero eight, we might be able to kill. Let's see. Okay, nine. Nine zero. That is so good. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in my cav so we can scout more. And yeah, two, five, one, five. All right, let's attack. Ah, only four. Two, four. Oh my goodness, that's unfortunate. Um, I have this cab though, to finish the job. No damage. Good. You already attacked. I can move you around. Supplies at six. That's still acceptable. We won't be entrenched if we stay here. Mm -hmm. This cab, a 3-3? Three, three? Is all right. It's just a cavalry. And we can switch you out even. Um, I can move you back. I cannot move the cav. We want to attack this. Move you back. Move you in. And can I then still switch? Two, four. Three, four. Yeah, you can switch over here. Which means you, I will move forward. Or no, I will move you forward. Like so. I'll move you over here. Because now you can still entrench. Maybe I won't do that. You can move over here. Probably could have moved the cav back. That would have, would have been... Would that have been smarter? I don't know. We'll attack here. Get rid of you. We'll take one damage. That's fine. Then we can move... Hmm. 
we can switch. Put my cav in here. Put this cav in here. I mean, I can put... Alright, let's check the supply then. We can then threaten Rovno. I think I will. Have you... Here. You here. Okay. And then... Uh... Oh, you could go in here. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. And I still have this cav. You can move back up. Hmm. Uh, I need to switch your mode. Because you can detach. And I think... I'm actually going to send you to Lemberg. Because this is where we're attacking. We don't need this. Um, you're holding Chernovitz just fine. Uh, let me quickly check the supply. Supply is going to be awesome. Mm. Plus the artillery doesn't really get to shoot. You could attack, technically, 1-3 attack, 1-3 attack here. You could attack as well. Hmm. Then we could actually switch you out and attack again. I think we can actually kill this core as well. So let's attack here. That was the one. And then our artillery wasn't useless. I actually like that. Go here, get the cav in. Doing some nice damage. Cav should be able to go back. Get you in. If we don't finish the job, it's not a problem. You go back into the trenches, and then you can finish. Nice. Very good. Very good. And so, yeah, basically, we're now focusing Rovno, but we did destroy a couple Russians in the process. Okay, very good. And here we're just holding. We're just holding so that they can't move away. And then the Germans, they will need to take Breslatovsk quickly. For which I believe we kind of need this cav. Kind of need the cavalry. I'm not sure if we'll be able to take it away from this. It kind of depends on how this position holds. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty good. And then that was Austria-Hungary here. We have the Italian front, we have this elite corps, we have this artillery. We can switch you. And then there's the question, can I still shoot? Where do I want to focus? Uh, Milan or Bologna? Can I not cut cut these two off? If I if I take Bologna, what like even if I take if I take these two, we cut off these. So I probably want to push here. And hold Brescia. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. So move forward, then we won't be able to attack. You are entrenched. 1-8 though! What do you mean? That's so strong. I mean we we'll probably won't... Nah, we won't be able to kill it, though. So it doesn't really matter. And it's just a detachment. They're two detachments. They can't attack us. Or they can't hurt us. I think I'm rather going to reinforce. And we are already entrenched. We hold Brescia. Let's just do that. Let's just hold Brescia here. And then... I can move up and entrench. I can... I could switch... Ah, interesting. Many options. 2-2. Two, two. I have 9 shells. If I switch you out, I wonder if I can attack. Let's try it out. 
No, I can no longer attack. Okay. I can upgrade though. You guys can go here. Or you guys can go there. So they already have some trenches. Let's get these trenches going. Let's have you... Well, hold on. You can now do an elite reinforcement. You can move over. Or you could actually go in there. Doesn't really matter. You have 125 morale. You have 120 morale. Then I want you to chill. You go in. And you just reinforce regularly. There we go. You stay in Padua. We've got our fighters. Uh, probably doing quite well. You can actually do an elite reinforcement as well. And then you can make it here. But then we won't be entrenched. I think I'm just going to reinforce you regularly. We won't have trenches, but that's okay. And you know what I'm going to do here? Since we have nine shells, I'm going to for once do the... Uh, not the silent mode. Because this if we do... We, we can't use all of our shells. We'll waste some. And so now if they attack, our cannon can basically respond here, 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 and here. And I think that's actually worth it for once. And then you... Unfortunately, can't move anywhere. Mm. Hmm. That's actually kind of annoying. I can force march you down here, though. Let's do it. It will uh, cost some morale, but that's okay. You're protected. You will recover that morale. No problem. Um, Over here... I had this, I had, did I, I said I wouldn't attack. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so that's the Italian front. Except not entirely. Hold on. Right, we still have this naval invasion. Okay. Okay, we land in Bari and there is no defenders. Hmm. Let me, hmm, let me move here. No defenders here either. Okay, and we can even attack the, this, this ship, this armored cruiser. Zero four. I mean, since I can't move, might as well. Wow, very good. So Bari is ours, and then uh, we can take Toronto, which would cut down or shut down this trade route. And then Brindisi, and then we have two ports here that we can then use. Very nice. So, um, our destroyer, can we... We could technically lay another mine. And I, you know what? I will do that. Well. Hold on. Let's, um... Let's go there with the submarine first. Okay. And then... Where do I want to put that mine? I think here is a great spot. Let's go back to uh, the port. And then we have our submarine here. You can still be reinforced even more. Damn, these, those are great submarines. And then, yeah, you can go back to port. And you can even go... Well, you go here. It's safer that way. Don't want to go through my own mind. That would be kind of stupid. All right, looking pretty good. So yeah, this German Marine Corps taken Bari. I think if we here's the, here's a the good thing. The way we the way we are positioned, I would like to take Toronto. If Toronto is being protected, we can take Brindisi. We will have a port one way or the other, uh, which is really good. So, yeah, we're actually in a great position because that means we'll get supplied. Uh, we'll be supplied. All right. So, that's the that's the Austrians. And we're here trying our attack. And then we have this. 
I think I actually have to let you guys reinforce for a little bit. Yeah. And... I can just move in here. Take Kalamanta. And attack you and Patras. Yep. And I'm not sure how much supply you'll have left. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. And you guys just stay here. Yeah, this is fine. It's gonna take some time, but we'll take we'll take Greece out. We'll take out Greece eventually. So you both of you can be reinforced. I'm not sure why Limassol is not reinforcing to full. It's kinda of weird. Kind of, kind of strange. But yeah, you'll get upgraded as much as possible. We still have a couple of points with Germany. Then this fighter needs reinforcement. Des desperately. And there's yeah, absolutely nothing I can do here. I mean, I guess I could go here with my cav. Oh, I can upgrade? Oh, we have infantry weapons too with the Ottomans? I was not aware. But you're the, literally the only one that can upgrade it. We still have zero... Uh, upgrades on those guys. Oh, I was not aware the Ottomans could upgrade to Tech 2. When did that happen? Oh? Not even Austria has it yet. That is so weird. Well, then you get this first. How come... Oh, you can't be upgraded because you're right next to the enemy. That makes sense. That makes sense then. Alright, we can upgrade some of the units that are standing around here, but I don't think that's the most important thing to do. Let's spend our points on something else first. Over here, how's the supply situation look? Okay, up here, pretty dire, but down here, better. 2 4, zero, 5 on that freaking plane. Um, 2 1. I have only two shells. You know what? I think I'm going to. I can only upgrade one point. Ah, uh, this freaking uh, supply is problematic. And it's not really going to get much better than that. Yeah. You can reinforce. Let me see the entrenchment. Yeah, you are entrenched, so y you can reinforce. You are not entrenched, but, I mean, this is kind of awesome. Zero five, though. It's just a... Though this is a recon bomber. Ah, let's attack. The 1 4. Not bad. You can also reinforce. Um, yeah, and you should. And then for the rest of you, there isn't really much I can do. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait. I will give I will give you that one reinforcement. That's okay. We have a hundred points left. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to use that to upgrade these guys. And you next to Damascus. Oh, you can be upgraded as well. Perfect. All right. That's the points we had with the Ottomans. And then Austria can probably do some more research, right? Nope, we're at the cap. We can do some German research. So what am I to do with this? all these points? Is there, is there something I can purchase? Um, is there some diplomacy I can do? No. So literally, there's nothing I can do with these points as Austria. I can maybe buy something. What are we... I think we're already producing an extra fighter. Yeah, and this destroyer is coming. Hmm. What could I possibly build? Destroyer. Marines. A detachment. I don't think I need anything. Uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to save these points. For when we maybe get these infantry weapons next turn. Then we can upgrade a bunch of these guys. In fact... I think I'm now going to pull 
Well, no. I'm gonna pull you back. That means this German court could be surrounded, but I don't think that that would really happen. Let's be honest here. We'll pull back so that we can upgrade you in the next uh, turn, potentially. Nice. Okay. And then with Germany, I still have a couple of points left. Or is there something we can upgrade here? No. With Germany, I have a couple points left. I upgraded everything. We are engaged, crucially, here. There is... There are no more upgrades I can do. So I think we'll check out some research. Actually, no, there is something I can do. As Germany has something I can do. I can now build a tank core. 200 is it's, it does it cost? 220. Mobility would be 260. So we can't give it the extra mobility. So that's something we'll have to wait. But we can get a tank core with the extra tank development. And I think that's something I really want. I just kind of want to see how it goes. So let's purchase, it. let's purchase that one tank core. That... That feels good. It's going to be awesome to have some tanks here. You can't shoot anymore, unfortunately. All right, then that is pretty much it. We'll see what the French national morale says. 7%. Uh, you at 69. Uh -huh, funny. You are at 47. 37. 110. 146. 80. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, we have a number of commerce raiders preparing to sail in the next few months on long distance voyages to attack enemy shipping in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Preparing these vessels will cost us 50 MPPs. Would you like to authorize payments so that these commerce raiders can set sail in their voyages to harass enemy shipping? The proposal is to send the Merve, the Wolf, and the sailing ship called the Sea Adler. They will sneak past enemy shipping and head for the South Atlantic from where they will sail further afield to com com commence raiding enemy shipping lines far from Europe. Saying yes to this will disrupt the British trade, reducing the UK's income as a result. Obviously we'll do that because that's kind of what I'm already doing. Germany is blamed as Spain seizes a million rifle cartridges destined for rebels in Morocco. Uh-huh. Well, that's not good. The Italian ODOS destroyer enters into service. Good for them. And we're... Uh, okay, yeah. We're disrupting our own stuff. The Darius art movement is born in Switzerland. And tank development progress. Fighter development for the Ottomans and shell production. Von, Halken, von Falkenhayn is deployed and commerce rate is actually reducing our income here. Almost. The, the Austrians almost have more points than the Germans in this round, but... Yeah, almost. Only almost. I find it funny how Greece is still alive just because I want it. Oh, no. Ah, uh, this uh, Dreadnought is on its own. Okay, that mine was very good. Okay, Light Cruiser. Nice job yeah they're hunting this guy oh okay we took no damage it's actually nice Co took no damage either oh this is bad oh no okay the battle cruiser they are hunting my dreadnought they have no no! How many Dreadnoughts do they have? There's another one here. God damn it. Okay, that is our mine. I think there goes your ship. Okay, this destroyer. Finding my destroyer. Oh man. We lost another Dreadnought. That's actually pretty painful. I didn't think they have more. How many Dreadnoughts do they have? I already sank five. That's insane.
Okay, they actually moved back so that I can maybe re uh, upgrade these guys. Alright, seems to be like a general retreat. Oh, maybe do they know what, what I'm trying to do? I don't know. Hmm. Hard to say. We don't actually have to take Rovno. Uh, it's actually not necessary. Okay, another dis... Oh. Okay, we took no damage. It's nice. What is... What's going on? Okay, there's a battlecruiser, a dreadnought, another dreadnought, a submarine, and this... Ah, I lost another dreadnought. Damn it. I think we might have to just go home and call it... Call it a day. Oh, that plane actually lost? That's awesome. So I wonder what they're gonna do here. They will attack us. Italy bombing their own cities. Man, that is... That is sad. Kind of planes are coming. Okay, I'm not too concerned about this attack. Because there's three detachments and they don't really have a whole lot of attack value. Right, this barrage will go on for some time. <laughs> I guess they have 10 shells. But honestly, I mean, we're so well positioned, like we have strong cores even in the front, like in the second line. I'm not too concerned about anything here at this point. So will there be more attacks or was it just artillery? Okay, nope, we're not done yet. Still more planes. Okay, reinforcing. Couldn't even get all the way to eight. Okay, the cav, that, that won't stay there. Oh? Oh, damn. That was actually... That's actually bad for me. If they start hitting my headquarter like this... I just hope that this guy is massively out of supply. Right there. Why are the French here and not defending their own land? It's weird. Weird, very weird. And I don't I don't know. I, I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> Just let them do that. The Italian army is weakened by desertions. Oh hello. Deserters all around. Okay, this is where they have their army? Foreign Minister reports diplomatic success. Norway is joining the... Well, 15 or 16% joining the Entente. And an anti-war protester assassinates the Austrian Prime Minister. Court Count von Stürk. This is not good. We're doing too well, I guess. How can you be anti-war? Austria-Hungary is so overperforming here. Alright, yeah, we lost our Dreadnought. Obviously, the Bayern Dreadnought. <laughs> I feel like the Bavarian cores always got... Like, they got destroyed most, and then they also lost their Dreadnought. 
Um, yeah, that's not so good. We raid it a little bit. Um, and let's have a quick look at the diplomacy here. Yep, another Bavarian core <laughs> coming back. Um, Norway, okay. Norway's only 2% leaning towards us. Spain's at 3% though. Okay. Well, um, that is still okay. We have decent, uh, decent amount of points. And we'll have to see what we do about that fleet. I thought we really had the British there. But um, nope. Apparently not. And this U-boat, this is very annoying. But we'll be dealing with this uh, in the next uh, turn. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys then.